All right, well, Ted Sawyer sent me these hubs. I've always recommended a particular seal based on what was found out, what NIS 720 on the original, when we originally started doing this. Uh, he, this is the five lug mod for the Toy for the Nissan hard body spindles. It's putting a Toyota truck hub onto a Nissan hard body. The Nissan hard body spindle is shorter. The bearings are in the Toyota hub are spaced too far apart, so I push the shelf in on both sides to match the hard body hub. Okay, and then guys can still use the washer, can still use the cotter pin, uh, how they were doing it before they were having the spindles machined, or they were just cranking on the bearings so bad it was killing the bearings very quickly. Now Ted's idea was he came up with a bearing with a seal rather. It's a national seal, four seven three two zero four. And it is the correct ID for the boss on the hard body spindle. Okay, the previous one that I recommended because that's what NIS 720 came up with. So we didn't have to machine this outer lip or anything like that. It was just really, really tight. You grease it up and shove the hub on over the spindle, and it would work. Ted came up with this. I never looked at it previous, past that, okay? I'm just doing the machine work. But now that somebody has come up with something a little better, I don't mind improving, upgrading. And so his thought was, could we machine the difference out of here? Because the OD is a little bit different. I don't remember exactly how far. When I do a full write-up on it, stuff like that, I can put the specs in and stuff like that. So anyway, I machined it out to... Well, the cool thing is, is you go on Rock Auto and look up the info. And the info gives the outside diameter of the seal as 2.754. It gives the housing bore as 2.750. So there's a 4 thousandths interference fit. So I've, I've measured them and they measure close enough, stuff like that. I do have a little bit of a chamfer cut on there. And I'm at uh, 2.751. Okay, so I'm just a little bit looser than what they suggest. Four thousandths interference ought to be plenty. And I'm basically going to sacrifice a seal to prove that this is working or that this works correctly. I'm just going to tap it in with a rubber mallet instead of getting out the seal driver. And I should be able to, to do that while it's still in the lathe here. So I have it machined to 0.2751. And just want to see. I'm, I'm sacrificing a, a seal for this, basically. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that. That's perfect. Okay, I, I'm going to have to kill the seal to pull it back out because uh, uh, I have to be able to grab from here. I probably should have machined the front of the, the hub, but I was kind of anxious to check. That's perfect. So, yeah, so I might adjust the price slightly and then just do this from now on because this is a way better uh, setup than the other seal that is so tight on the spindle. Yeah, I, I bought extras, so I'm just going to kill the seal, but... Ah, uh... oh, nice. 